Hi students. Today we're going to talk about federal powers versus state powers. What's the difference? Now when I talk about federal, I mean national, things that the entire nation are responsible for, or that the federal government or the national government is responsible for. And when I talk about state powers, I am talking about the individual states like Maryland, Virginia, California, what they can actually do in our government. So if you look over here in the green box, you will see that these are all federal, gover federal government powers. The federal government is allowed to print money. Can you imagine what it would be like if each state had its own money in the United States? If Maryland had their own type of dollars and Virginia had her own type of dollars and each state had their own money, it would be crazy. So this is a federal government power that every state has the same money and it's printed by the federal government. The federal government also can declare war. They can create an army and it can create treaties or make treaties. So this is the idea that in international relations or when our country deals with another country, it's important that we do it at a national lever, level. We don't want to have a war between Mexico and Chicago or a war between Canada and Maryland. We want it to be Canada versus the United States or Mexico versus the United States. Not that I'm advocating war, but it's this idea that when we deal with international or other countries, that we have one United States and it's a federal set of powers. Over here in the individual states, they are responsible for providing education in schools. So that means that the state decides when the schools open, when the schools close, what to teach, how much to pay teachers. The state also decides how much money though is spent on police protection and how the police should carry out their duties to protect the people. The state decides on fire safety and ambulances. The, the state is the one that gives a driver's license. You will notice that here in uh, Maryland and Virginia, you can get a driver's license when you're about 16. In, a, in Texas, you can get a driver's license when you are younger. Sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 14. It depends on the state. Um, also, the state is the one that approves the zoning for, and land use. So if you're going to build a house or build a business, you have to go to the state to get approval for what you're going to do. These are all important because, again, it goes back to this idea that power is distributed across many things. We have the three branches of government that, have, that hold power, and then we have state and local power. Uh, governments that also have special powers. And that way, no one branch of government and no one institution has too much power, and the power stays with the people. Have a good day!